Opinion polls are unpredictable even at the best of times. They have certainly been unpredictable in recent elections, not just in the United Kingdom, but also in other parts of the world. But the larger question is, even if they were predictable, what do they tell us about the way in which citizens engage with politics and the reasons they have for voting for particular parties or for particular representatives, for particular individuals that represent these parties? In politics, what we really want to know about is why people have certain views about how to think about public goods, why they have certain views around how to shape the laws that decide about the distribution of these public goods, why, for example, some people are against nationalization, some people are in favor of nationalization, some people are uh, more in favor of full equality, and others think that inequalities in society are justified by some criterion. And parties help us shape our judgments around these views and are there for citizens to orient themselves in these decisions. And yet, when we think about numbers, when we think about polls, when we are presented week in, week out with these numbers that fluctuate about how Labour was at this percentage but now is at this other percentage, or the Lib Dems have gone up and down by this amount, all we are given is a number that uh, doesn't tell us anything about the substance of the views of these political parties, and more importantly, doesn't tell us anything about how citizens come to shape their judgments around these parties and how they form their commitments around what kinds of policies they want to promote and what kind of views they would like to see out for uh, the election period. So. Uh, numbers are uninformative and what we would really want to have is a discussion around ideas and around the principles that shape these ideas and also around how practices of engaging with each other in the case of citizens helps them um, make calls about these ideas and decide about which parties they want to support which representatives they want to support so numbers and polls are a kind of impoverished way of thinking about politics because they prevent us from engaging with the larger discussion, more substantive discussion around ideas behind politics and around the reasons people have for having these ideas and also for changing them in discussion, in deliberation with others.